girls, it's me Crystal and today I'm back showing you guys how to make your own infinity scarf. These scarves only take about 30 minutes or so and you can make it with just your arms and some yarn. Okay so obviously you're going to need some thread. I have a purplish grape color and it is by the company Loops and Threads. You can see that. And I'll put the dimensions like how long and everything down below. And you only really need one. I mean, some people use two, but I mean, that's if you want a really big one. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And what I'm going to do first is unravel the whole thing and then find the two ends. Like, kind of just put one, the first end to the side and then unravel the rest so that we have both ends. So, <laughs> Okay, so now I have my two ends, see, and you're going to make them even, and you're going to pull out about your arm's width about four times. So here's one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm just going to put that to the side, and then now we're going to make a slip knot. And so to make a slip knot, you're going to take the middle and you're going to twist it. You're just twisting it. And then you're going to grab one, one in. Like that. Here, I'll do it one more time so you guys can see. You take the middle. You're going to twist it. And then you're going to grab one side and then pull it through. Okay? You can adjust it to a bit to the size that's big enough for you to fit on your wrist. See? And then you can tighten it up some more. Okay, so here's the hard part. What you're going to do is you're going to separate the two strands. The two, one side should be on this side, the other should be on this side. You're going to separate it with your thumb and your pointer finger. And then you're going to grab the rest with the rest of your fingers. See? Okay, so now you're going to take your hand and lay the, the, your, your hand there under. That way the, the strings overlap. Okay? And so first you're going to take your hand and you're going to go under your thumb. You're going to over under your thumb, grab the first piece, and then pull. I'm going to do that again. You're going to separate the two pieces, grasp the rest with your rest of your fingers, lay your hand down, and then you're going to go under your thumb, under your thumb, Pick up the piece that's right there, pick it up, go under, and then put it on your wrist and pull. So, so far I've done one, two, three. Okay, do it again. Separate. Lay your wrist down. You're going to take under your thumb. Grab this piece. Put it on your wrist and pull. Again. Under. Under. Pull on your wrist and tighten. Okay, one more time. Let me make it so you guys can see. So here, under your thumb, grab the top piece, pull your wrist and tighten. Make sure to make these not too tight. You don't want to make it 
so tight on your wrist that you can't get it off. So kind of enough room that can make it move, you know? Well, let's see how many pieces we got. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go up to about eight or nine. Okay, so now I have my nine, my nine sections done. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the side with the two ends, the short end, and we're gonna put this to the side. We don't wanna touch this anymore for now. You're gonna grab the side, the long end, and you're gonna put the string in your hand. And remember, this is the longest, the longest section with all of this. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna put it in your hand, and what you're going to do is you're going to grab the first two, two strings, strands, they're all sectioned in twos. You're going to grab the first two. You're going to pull it over your hand, pull it over, and then you're going to put your other hand in the loop, the new loop, and then you're going to pull. Just try to ignore this other string popping out for right now. So you're going to put it back in your hand. You're going to pull the string over the two, let go, put your hand in, and then pull. And you're going to keep going. Take the next section, pull it over, put your hand in, then tighten up. Go a little slower this time. Pull it over. Put your hand through and then tighten. Okay. If you ever feel like you don't understand something I'm doing, feel free to rewind and play back whatever part you need so that you fully understand what we're doing. Because I know I didn't understand the first time I tried this. So just go at your own pace. But okay, you see the scarf is starting to form. Let me push that back. Yeah, so now we're going to do this. The whole time, you're just going to do this over and over and over until your scarf gets longer. Pretty much you can watch TV or listen to music, do whatever is fun for you to kill time, you know. And so you're just going to do this over and over again. You're going to pull it over, put your hand in, and then pull. And you're going to put it back in this hand that has this on its wrist. You're going to pull it over. Put your new hand in, pull. Okay? Just gonna keep going. Always keep it in the hand that you started with. Pull. Back in this hand, over, and pull. See? Okay, and I'm just going to keep going.
and you're just going to keep working for about the next 30 minutes and then eventually you'll have your infinity scarf okay so now that I've knitted most of everything left most of the yarn and all I have is a little bit left on my wrist okay so first to finish off your scarf you're going to go ahead and pull it over your hand the first loop and then put it on your wrist tighten up like normal and you're going to do one more now here's the difference you're going to drop the yarn you're going to pull this loop over the second one then you're going to pull your string and you're going to do that again over pull you're going to pull the first over the second <laughs> okay then tighten up again okay I'm gonna do it again over tighten up pull over the second it's getting a little tight over here there we go tighten up Okay, we're going to come back and keep doing the same thing over and over for the last row. Ooh. Tighten. Almost done. And you can see that it's starting to close off the end of the scarf. We'll do that last loop. Okay, then you should end up with it like this. See? And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip over, hold the string in your hand, flip over the last one, and then tighten it up. Okay, so now you have these two, and what you're going to do is pretty much just tie these in a knot. And once you have a, a decent knot, you can just clip off these ends. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut off my ends. And so now we're going to go back to the other long strand that we have at the other end of our scarf. And we're going to basically just thread it together to make an infinity scarf. We're going to line your two sides up. And you can flip this side like inward if you want so you won't be seen. And you're just going to take your strands and you're just going to weave it in through the loops. So 
so I'm just putting it through and pulling. Mine's pretty long, so I'm going to cut mine a little bit. So now I'm back with this, just tying it around to make them stick together. Just keep going. this there's really no perfect way to do this <laughs> I'm literally just feeding the thread through the top of the scarf okay and so what I like to do is you're gonna take one of the, the two strands and you're gonna loop it through again by itself and then now that the two are separate in separate places of the scarf I tie them in a knot together on the inside so I'm going to flip it inside find my two strings where the second one go there we go So now that I'm on the inside, I'm going to tie a knot. Just a regular old knot. I'm going to do it one more time. And cut this. And then you're done. Let me fix this. Your infinity scarf. 